is part 2 of C-Sharp interview questions video series. In this video, we'll answer this interview question, what is Jagged Array? A Jagged Array is an array of arrays. Let's understand this with an example. Let's say we have three employees, Mark, Matt and John. Mark has three qualifications, bachelor's, master's and doctorate. Whereas Matt has only one qualification, that is only a bachelor's degree. And John has two qualifications, bachelor's and master's. Now here, different employees have different number of qualifications. So I want a data structure where I can store these varying number of qualifications. Jagged array is one of the choices. Let's look at an example of using this jagged array. So first is to create a jagged array. Now what is a jagged array? A jagged array is an array of arrays. Now look at this. Qualifications are strings. Okay, so I'm going to create a string jagged array, meaning an array of string arrays. So let's go ahead and create a string jagged array. And to create a jagged array, you use square brackets like that. Let's give it a meaningful name. Let's call it jagged array. You can give it any meaningful name you want. And the next step is to specify the number of string arrays that you need. So what is a jagged array? It is an array of arrays. Here we are creating a string jagged array. That means an array of string arrays. Okay. So how many string arrays do we want? We want three string arrays. So we specify the size of our jagged array using the first set of square brackets. Okay. Now the next step is, so we have we have specified that we need three string arrays. So the next step is to basically set the sizes of each string array. So jagged array of zero. This one is going to um, set the size of the first string array. So we want the first string array size to be three because in the first string array we are going to store mark qualifications. And how many qualifications does mark have? Three. So I want the first string array within this jagged array uh, size to be three. Similarly, for Matt, he has only one degree. So the size of the second string array is going to be one. And finally, the size of the third string array is going to be two because for Mark, I mean for John, um, there are only two qualifications. So by this point, we have specified the sizes of each string array within this jagged array. The next step is to basically initialize each string array. Okay, so jagged array of zero. So this is going to give us access to the first array. So within the first array, within the first element of the first array, store whatever you want to store. So what do we want to store? We want to store bachelors. Okay. And in the second element of the first string array, we want to store masters. And in the third element of the first string array, we want to store doctorate because Mark has those three qualifications. Okay. And the next step is to initialize the second string array. So how do we get access to the second string array? Using the integral index uh, one refers to the uh, second string array within this jagged array. And within the second string array, in the first element, we want to store bachelors. Okay, so these are the qualifications for math. Finally, John has two qualifications. So let's go ahead and initialize the third string array. So let's copy that. Okay, so how are we going to get access to the uh, third string array? By using integral indexer 2. Oh. I meant to copy these two. So within the third string array, in the first element store bachelors, 
within the third string array in the second element store masters okay so by this point we have created a jagged array set the size of each string array within that jagged array and then we have initialized each string array with some data now the next step is to basically loop through this jagged array and then print the values that are present uh, within each array so I'm going to use a for each loop I mean for loop for int i is equal to 0 i less than jagged array dot length so what is this length property going to give us what is a jagged array it's an array of arrays so here how many string arrays do we have within this jagged array there are three so the length property is going to give us the number of arrays within the jagged array that is three i plus plus so now as we loop through the jagged array what are we going to get back we are going to get back each string array okay so I'm going to create a variable of type string array and let's call this inner array equals so how are we going to get the string array that is present within the jagged array simply use the indexer i so first time i value will be 0 jagged array of 0 what do we get we get the first string array okay and the first string array has got three elements within that so now what we are going to do, we are going to use another for loop and then loop through the elements within the inner array and print the values out. So for int j equals 0, j less than inner array dot length, j plus plus. So let's go ahead and print the value that is present within the inner array. So console dot write line inner array of j. Okay, so what is this going to do? So first time here i value is going to be zero. So jagged array of zero will give us the first string array. And within the first string array, how many elements do we have? We have three elements. So it's going to get into this for loop. So it's going to start at zero and then it's going to continue until less than three, that is two and then from the inner array we're going to retrieve the elements and print them and then once we complete you know for one user let's print console dot right line so that we get a blank row so let's go ahead and run this and see if we get the output that we expect look at that so mark has three degrees bachelor's master's doctorate and those are printed there and Matt has only one degree and we can see that there and John has two degrees okay so now in the output you can actually see the names of the employees as well so let's um, print the employee names and that's very straightforward all we need to do is create a string array we have the employees name there in the for loop print the names of the employees from that string array so let's go ahead and do that so let's create a string array here and maybe let's call this employee names equals new string array and set the size to 3 so employee names of 0 equals mark so in the second element we want Matt and in the final element we want John so we have the string array here which contains employee names I'm going to use that array and then print the names of the employees so console dot write line employee names of I so that's going to um, look into that employee names array retrieve the name of the employee and print that and if you look at the output we also have a dotted line under every employee name so let's use another console dot write line and print that dotted line all right so let's go ahead and run this now look at this we get the output that we expect so basically a jagged array is an array of arrays so in this example we have created an array uh, of string arrays in a similar fashion we can create an array of integer arrays an array of decimal arrays an array of boolean arrays etc 
that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day